Hey, it's Chase with Blue Guana Pools. I'm excited to talk to you guys about cyanuric acid today. This is a crucial part of your pool. Um, you've probably heard of it in like, it has four different names, um, but I'm gonna kind of go over what it does for your pool and why you have it in your pool. Uh, you, you've heard, and I don't want you to mix it up with muriatic acid, which we use to adjust your pH. Cyanuric acid is different. It does completely different things for us. So it has four names, cyanuric acid, chlorine stabilizer, conditioner, CYA. So if you go into your pool store, you could hear all four of those names kind of explaining the same thing or one thing. Um, cyanuric acid was invented in 1829 and what it's meant to do is you have your pool. This is as good as it's gonna get with me. And the problem that we have is keeping chlorine in your pool when it's hot outside and we get evaporation. because chlorine will actually float to the top of your pool and it'll burn off fast in evaporation. And so you run out of chlorine quickly in your pool. And what stabilizer does for us is it helps keep the chlorine in your pool. It helps kill the bacteria that is there and helps us maintain it uh, in a weekly basis. And so if you don't have any cyanuric acid or stabilizer conditioner CYA in your pool, your chlorine will burn off quickly and you'll probably by the weekend be out of chlorine in your pool and it'll start to turn green. So cyanuric acid is there to help stabilize us to keep the chlorine in your pool. What's the range that we want to keep of cyanuric acid in your pool? 40 to 60 parts per million is what we ideally what we want to keep in your pool. This would be this would be great. But in Arizona, in our pools, on average, we're probably about 100 plus parts per million. And you might ask, Chase, why is, your, why is it high? How's that happen? If you wanna be around 40 to 60 parts per million, are you adding too much when you start my pool? Because this is something that we add to your pool when you put fresh water into it. So are you adding too much? Why is it, why is it 100 plus? In Arizona so cyanuric acid is used a lot in our pool chemicals so here I have liquid chlorine and for you to get use this liquid chlorine and turn it into this tab you need something to bind it to you need a solid and so people have been using cyanuric acid to bind to turn chlorine into like a powder uh, so this tab has cyanuric acid in it and chlorine. So every time I use this tab in your pool, it's going to leave cyanuric acid behind. It's, and then that's where we get it to grow or increase in your pool. So we might start out at 40, but within a year, you might be 100 plus, depending on how hard it is to maintain your pool and how much trees and stuff you have or how much you're using it because we're adding more tabs, more chlorine. Also, your shocks, uh, chlor like shock, um, will either have calcium hardness to bind it or cyanuric acid, depending on what type of shock you're buying. And so, how do we get rid of it? How do we pull that, that cyanuric acid out of our pool? Or I guess, what happens when it gets high? What does it do? When it gets high, it'll start to trap the chlorine in your pool and it won't allow the chlorine to kill the bacteria like it, it did when you had fresh water. So we need that perfect balance or a good balance of CYA for your chlorine to work good. A lot of people have said to me over the years of like, oh, I've never drained my pool, it's 10 years old, and I don't need to drain it. But their CYA is super high and it, I'm using a ton of chlorine to keep it balanced when their neighbor has fresh water and I use a quarter to half as much chemicals to keep it balanced. 
So that's up to you if you want to never drain your pool and I can always just throw a ton more chemicals in it. But ideally for the swimming experience and with me and my kids, I want to use as little chemicals as possible. Uh, and I would feel that most people feel the same way. And the only way to do that is to kind of keep that water fresh. Um, and so draining it every often is good uh, every couple of years, but just keep an eye on your chemicals and kind of determine whether you need to drain your pool or not. But that is CYA or cyanuric acid conditioner stabilizer in a nutshell. Uh, thank you. I hope this was informational. If you have any questions, call me. I'd love to talk to you about it, but we'll talk to you later.